Hey guys, this is Brian at Obedia, and today I'm going to show you how to manually install a VST on the Windows operating system. This can be a little bit confusing at times uh, because many VSTs, uh, which are freely downloadable via the internet, typically do not include installation programs which we're used to using for installing software. So we end up having to manually install those, but every once in a while that can be a little confusing. So I'm going to show you guys real quickly how we can do this. I have here the installation package for Buffer Override by DestroyFX. Um, I really like this plugin and I want to get this installed on my system. Now, I've downloaded a zip file from the DestroyFX website and in that zip file you can see I have two files here uh, that end in the file extension DLL. That's Dynamic Link Library. And uh, there's two versions, a mono and a stereo. Now what I need to do, very simply, is copy these to the VST plugins directory uh, on my computer. Now to do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my computer. So I'll just click on my Start button and go to my computer. Now I'm going to browse to the location of my VST plugins folder. Now, depending on your system, this could be set up differently, but most of the time, your VST plugins are likely going to be accessed on your C drive. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at the program files directory. Now, if you're running Windows 64 bit, which most folks usually are now, you're going to have two different program files directories. Uh, one which is just simply called program files and another which ends in x86 in parentheses. x86 denotes a 32-bit program files directory. So this is where anything that's not 64-bit is going to be located and a number of plugins are currently not 64-bit, or some of them offer different versions, one in 32-bit, one in 64. So be mindful of what it is that you're installing and browse to the correct program files directory, depending on if you're installing 32 or 64. I'm installing 32-bit, so I'm going to double-click into my x86 program files directory. Now I'm going to scroll down, and in my case, my VST plugins folder is actually simply called VST Plugins. And you can see that right here. Now for some of you, it may be located in a Steinberg folder, which I also have, as you can see right here. But I like to keep my VST Plugins in a separate folder. This lets me keep track of them. I know exactly where they are. So you can set this however you may like it. Um, wherever you know that your VST plugins folder is, simply browse to it, double click into it. Now you're going to see a number of folders which will show you all of the different plugins which you have installed on your system. And you're going to notice that some of these that I have here also end in .dll. So that means that I'm in the right location. So that's good. So once I've found the correct location for my VST plugins, all I need to go ahead and do is simply select the files which I would like to install. So I'm just going to go ahead and select both copies of Buffer Override right now and drag and drop them into your VST plugins folder. They'll be copied over and after they've been added to your plugin folder, you'll simply need to rescan your plugin directory inside of whichever audio workstation you might be operating in. And when you've rescanned your plugins, you should have immediate access to that plugin as long as it is compatible with your system and your audio workstation. So that's it. You can see this is fairly easy, but again, some of us are not used to crawling around on our hard drives and it can be a little bit daunting. So I just thought I would show you guys how you can quickly do this. Please keep in touch with me. I hope you guys found this useful. Email me at brian at obedia.com. Get me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash Tutor, and of course on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Tutor. Please give me a call. Work one-on-one -on -one with me and go beyond the tutorial. I'll show you how we can help you to get everything that you'd like out of your digital audio hardware and software and how we can help you to tame your technology, which is what we do here at Obedia. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.